Welcome to Urban Tap, Warren, Ohio. Um, so glad that you guys could make it down and enjoy uh, this wonderful summer day with us. Urban Tap, we're down here, downtown Warren. We are, um, my brother, my wife and I own it together. We are all from Warren, so when we got the opportunity to buy a building down here and be part of the resurrection of Warren, it was just a no-brainer. Well, it's a uh, 5,000 square feet total um, right now. We're using about half of that for our bar and dining room area. And then uh, we have a event room um, that holds about 60 to 70 people. And then in the, um, by the end of the year, we should start doing some micro distilling. So we're gonna be making our own rum and some of our own bourbon and stuff. Yeah, my brother, he's into it. He's, uh, he does what he's allowed to do at home by law. Um, he, he makes a little bit of this and that. So. We're gonna grow into it. We're gonna, we have a couple of distillers in the area that we're gonna work with, bring them on, and, and we'll just, when it's ready and it's perfect, we'll serve it to the customer. Our menu is American infused. Uh, we have burgers, handhelds, flatbreads, salads, wide array of, of appetizers. We have a few smash burgers on there, good chicken sandwiches, and our homemade chicken tenders, of course. Seven different specialty drinks on the menu right now, plus a wide array of bourbon and tequila, and you name it, we got it. The thing I'm most excited about is the, the amount of space we have down here. So not just in the building, but outside. Some of the events that we used to have in Warren, we used to have a, an, when uh, O'Donnell's was in Warren, they had the best St. Patty's Day festival around. We're gonna bring that back. We're gonna be the spot to go to in Trumbull County. Um, we're gonna do the Ohio State, Michigan tailgate party. We're gonna do an Oktoberfest. We're gonna do paws and pints. We, you know, there's just so many options that we have with all the space that we have and getting it out to the community. We're gonna do some night markets. We're gonna do a daytime artisan flea market, that kind of stuff, just stuff that brings the community in they get to see our place, and once we get them here, they're gonna love our food, they're gonna love our staff once again, and we'll, that's how we're gonna keep them. Yeah.